the 18th Asian Physics Olympiad 2017 in Yakutsk, the Russian Federation, has now come to a close. We had fun, I think, uh, fr fr from this experience. It's a nice experience and the uh, problems were exciting to say the least. Uh, it was quite hard but and we got what we got. I would recommend it for anyone to follow and uh, to uh, enjoy physics. We've done uh, previous AFO problems and uh, I think this is by far the hardest problems, uh, the, uh, theoretically uh, especially. I think top 10 hardest exams here. Uh, the town is uh, quite nice, the people are nice uh, and uh, well, it's quite cold. We are from Indonesia, of course, the tropics, and uh, it's quite hard to adapt from the tropics to the subarctic. I think it, uh, it's a nice change, I think. But uh, after a while, you start to uh, you start to fail to adapt, and you start wishing to uh, come back to the, your own country's temperature. Uh, we enjoy the permafrost uh, most because we can see the unique ice crystals. What do you plan to do this day? Did you mean after this? Well, I think I would uh, keep studying to for the university and maybe become a scientist. I'm very interested in physics and I spend a lot of time uh, in physics in my high school. First, we train hard for um, about two years for the CP show that is the Chinese Physics Olympiad. Why did you win? How do you think? What helped you? What helped you? I think, uh, as you know, the, there's a problem. Uh, is uh, really hard for everyone, and for me, I keep calm, keep calm when when I when I met these problems. I got a silver medal and a special prize for the best female participant. I participated last year and last year I was the second best female participant so I, so I hoped I would get the prize this year. But I am very grateful for it. I, I could not, couldn't have been more happy than I am now. I'm very grateful for the people who organized this because they gave me so much joy. I was lucky enough to get a good enough score in order to get this prize. I think they are giving the prize in order to encourage girls to participate more in these kinds of Olympiads. It's Olympiad about the friendship, not about the win winning. Yeah. What do you think about it? Uh, I think uh, making friendships, friendships should be one of the most important purposes of an Olympiad. I think this Olympiad managed to cover this aspect very well. We made a lot of friends, we exchanged a lot of information about our cultures, about our customs, and I think it's, uh, it's great and it's very important to, to do this at an Olympiad. What country did you exchange more? It's hard to say this, but we talked to a lot of countries, Israel, Turkey, Taiwan, uh, Vietnam, uh, uh, Australia, uh, pretty much everyone. Everyone is surprising when you get to know them. When you think about the people who participate in a physics Olympiad, you don't think about, I don't know, funny people or something like this. They surprise me in the way that they are exceptional, truly exceptional as, be as human beings and uh, academically as physics Olympians. <laughs>